You're gonna have to do a few things to prepare for the new school. And first of all, let's go over the farming tips because that's probably what you clicked on this video for. And I actually have a few options for you. So instead of farming now, you might want to wait until the new school actually releases to start farming. Because in the new school, farming is going to be a lot, lot easier. That's an option. But let's also go over the option that if you do want to farm right now, I have a few tips for you as well. So first of all, one thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make like a music playlist for yourself if you do decide to farm. You don't have to do this, but I found- wait, where did the- where did the chairs go? What the- I mean, as I said, you don't have to do this. This is like optional, but it really helps me out because when you when you have a music play for, playlist for yourself, it really helps to like take your mind off the aspect of farming itself and just like makes time go a little bit faster too because you're having a little bit more fun as you farm if you're listening to your favorite songs. So this playlist doesn't have to be like your favorite songs. It can also be like themed around the new school somehow. I don't know how you would do that, but I don't know. Maybe like K-12 is kind of like new school like, so maybe. I don't know, but it can just be like whatever you want. It doesn't have to be themed. It doesn't have to be anything It can just be like songs that you generally enjoy and that you would find enjoyable to listen to while farming It can even be like the lo-fi girl. Like, it doesn't even matter. Just have like something to listen to You know while you're farming or you could just do it with no music at all and that would kind of be sad But you can also do that as well So another thing that you can do is make like a little grinding outfit for yourself Now this outfit that I'm wearing right now isn't really I wouldn't say it's like a new school outfit It's more just like my OC now Having a little outfit for grinding is gonna be pretty- it's pretty cool. It makes it a little more fun when you're grinding and it makes everything like a little more themed around the new school, you know? And now let's go over how to actually farm for the new school because that's probably the thing that you guys are questioning about the most. So, if you- so let's go over if you don't have game passes first, because I'm assuming more of you probably don't have game passes than do. If you don't have game passes, I'd say doing the method that allows you to level up the fastest is probably going to be really helpful. Because without multipliers, every time you level up, you get 300 diamonds, at least for now, because when a new school comes out, it's not going to be like that anymore, it's going to actually be level rewards. So, one thing too is that you actually want to try to like get a bunch of levels when the, for when a new school comes out, because you're going to have to have a lot of level rewards. And and the level rewards for your level will actually be unlocked once the new school comes out. Like, you won't have to grind any more levels, because that would be kind of dumb. So, anyways, um, if you don't have multipliers and you want to grind for the new school, what I would recommend is you just go to this campus too, and you go through like a day of classes. So right now it's English, put in my passcode, and then we're going to transfer all our items, we're going to get all of our books, and we're going to close that, and um, English class, English is up here. Of course, I didn't actually come in when the class started, so I'm very late to class and I can't actually participate in the class so make sure you actually go to the class once it starts but yeah make sure you do all the classes because it's gonna really help you out um that's one thing that you can do and then once you finish a day of the school since it's generally on 20 minutes and the sleeping timer you can check on your phone here to see the see your sleeping timer um so you go here and as you can see my energy is zero so once this happens and you see zero or like 20 percent or something like that you should go into your dorm room and then sleep because that's going to be really helpful in order to level you up so and just like wait a little bit for it to go all the way back up to 100 and then you're going to want to basically just continue the process over and over and over again so until you get the amount of diamonds that you want um i'd say just like try to grind as much as you can anyways we have to go on to what you should do for if you do have multipliers so i actually have a very different method for you if you do have multipliers so we're gonna go over to Enchantix because this is the realm that still has diamonds in the set positions. Which this realm also used to have diamonds in set positions, but that was removed last year with the Dewdrop Showers update. So this realm Enchantix is actually the only realm left that has set diamonds in it, which is gonna be really, really helpful for you guys. So the element in the beginning doesn't matter in Enchantix, you can just like choose whatever you want. And then you're gonna follow where I go because this is going to be the way you're gonna wanna go. So you're gonna fly up a little bit, you're gonna set your speed to 299 or basically the highest speed. One thing is that if you do have multipliers, make sure to get the fly speed too because it's gonna make everything a lot faster. So let's go, We're gonna the first diamond you're gonna get is this one on top of the fountain. Then you wanna go in the shell, get that one. Go up here, get this one. And then you're gonna wanna go all the way into the lake. Go all the way down here. You can get these diamonds if you want, it doesn't really matter. Then you're gonna go into this little cave right here with this diamond. Get that one, get this one, get that one. 
get this one you know i want to go all the way back up then once you go back up you're going to want to go up here get this green diamond then get this pink diamond behind it and then you're going to want to go fly over here there is a green diamond inside of this tree then go underneath here underneath the nursery and get that diamond then you want to go up here there's another pink diamond here that you can get and then you're going to want to go over here to this diamond then another diamond you want to get, to get is behind the ice storm you have this diamond here and then you're going to want to go back here there is one on top of this like diving board get this one in this shell that one over here then you're going to go up here don't go through the doors go through this little opening up here because this isn't actually a window surprisingly so you can just fly over that and then you're going to go into this little pool here and that's your last diamond so yeah and then you can get these diamonds and then you have collected all the diamonds that you need to get in Enchantix. So now one thing that you can do to make it really quick is you're going to go into the Portal Realms. Because this takes you back to the Arrival screen. So just jump on this for a few seconds. Then it takes you back to the Arrival. And then you're going to just want to repeat the process. So we're going to go back into Enchantix. And the diamonds should all be back. Hopefully. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yep. Okay. It looks like all the diamonds are back. So this is going to be basically the quickest way to get diamonds with multipliers. Um, so I highly recommend doing this if you do have multipliers. If you don't have multipliers, make sure to go to school. But if you do, make sure you do this method because this is going to help you get diamonds super duper fast. And this used to be paired with going to campus 2 when that still had diamonds there. But unfortunately, this is the only realm that has set diamonds. This is the only realm you can do it in now unfortunately so yeah now let's go on to some more tips and things to expect for when the new school actually releases so there is a lot of things you can expect to be released when the new school releases one of the things that you can expect is to have a ton and i mean a ton of new things to buy in the shop there is going to be so many different things you're going to want to get so as you can see right now the shop just has like a bunch of skirts that you guys have probably seen forever and these shoes and stuff but when the new school comes out there's going to be a ton of different like individual items when the new school comes out and that's going to be really really cool and so you're going to want to be able to keep that in mind as you're grinding and there might also be sets in the new school releases as well so make sure to be able to keep that in mind as well we don't know how much they're going to cost but i really hope it's not a lot because that's going to be a lot of stuff to grind for sets have been gradually getting more expensive recently i'm not sure why because if you can see the summer fantasy it's pretty well actually let's see they have the um december's dream was like insanely expensive like 35k for a jacket what the heck so yeah that was really expensive and the shoes especially are the most expensive part so if you guys like to collect shoes and stuff make sure to be able like to spend a lot of diamonds because like look at these 80,000 for whimsy witch shoes like what the heck and like that was that was absolutely insane guys that was crazy how much those costed so yeah if the new school sets are gonna cost anything near that amount make sure to keep that in mind as you're grinding and one other thing that you're gonna want to be able to buy when the new school comes out is that there's gonna be dorm accessories so i'm actually gonna hop over to the trailer so i can show you guys a little bit of an example of what i'm talking about so as you can see now we're at the trailer and um as you can see this is one of the developers dorms inside the new school um just a little thing everything you see here can be placed wherever you want so as you can see they have like this um ladder with leaves on it they have the string lights they have the heart and like the little pictures all of these items are things you can place wherever you want in your dorm so like you're gonna be able to buy this like heart pillow probably this pillow this 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 all of this everything even this entire bed probably you're gonna be able to buy so that's a lot of things that you're gonna want to be able to like get in the new school and i'm pretty sure that each of the stuff for the dorms is going to be on random like based on what element you are so if we take a look at these old leaks from like 2020 you can see how they were making like different types of accessories for like each of the different elements in the new school such as light water ice nature etc yeah they're all gonna be like themed around these elements so 
that's gonna be really cool there's gonna be a ton of different customization options in the dorms um there was also this live stream that barbie did where she was like adjusting like a billion different handles so like that's how like detail you're gonna get you're gonna basically be able to do like anything you're gonna be able to choose like the handles on the drawers and stuff like that is absolutely crazy so as i said before grinding is going to be a lot easier in the new school and you're going to want to um so that's why i said in the beginning that you might want not even want to farm right now because right now it's actually really hard to grind but when a new school releases there's going to be like a ton of different mini games and like classes and stuff that you'll be able to grind a lot easier in so keep that in mind um it, of course it's your choice of whether you want to farm right now or not but yeah just keep that in mind because it's going to be a lot easier to get diamonds once the new school releases and stuff like that so yeah and along with that there's going to be a lot of different um realms 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 i can't say that word oh my god so um i think it's been confirmed that there's like about 15 or so different realms we can actually check rollamons right now and have a look at all the different realms because let's go and have a look at all the different realms that are going to be coming with the school and i asked the developers themselves and no i'm not breaking any like secrecy rules by taking a look at the realms this is public information so we do have access to see the realms so as you can see, um, some of the realms that we have is the cafeteria, the art studio, the main campus, the Enchantraverse, Rainy Day Classroom, Locker Courtyard. We got the um, closet not using, so they're probably not going to be using that one. Castle Dormitories. This is the one that took the longest was the dorms. And we have the dormitory bathing quarters, the gymnasium, the dungeon, the office, the throne tower, West Wing campus, question marks. Um, I don't know what that is. That, um, what? I don't know what all this stuff is. I think Barbie is like renaming her files probably. I don't know what those are. Cafeteria outside. I think that one's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. Cafeteria outside. That's interesting. And we have the archery class. So this is like 15 different realms that you're going to be able to explore when the new school releases. So this is like a ton of different areas in order to take pictures and film in. I'm really excited for that to film in these different places. And each of these realms are going to be highly highly interactive i remember a developer told me that um you would be able to basically everything you see in the new school you're going to be able to interact with so every single one of these realms like for the cafeteria i know there's going to be like hundreds of different new foods and stuff like that and for the art studio you're going to be able to like do paintings and whatever stuff like that the main campus well this is probably where we saw the fountain girl if you look where yeah i think this is the main campus area where you see the fountain girl and stuff like that that is this main campus here basically that's just a bunch of different realms that we're gonna be realms realm I, ah, places that we're gonna be able to explore once the new school comes out so what if there's new tea about the new school where should you guys look so obviously a lot of the tea is being posted on twitter but I know a lot of you guys probably don't have Twitter and don't want to. I used to have Twitter, but I got rid of it because I simply couldn't handle it anymore. So where should we go to keep up with the latest tea? And that is where YouTube comes in because there are a few YouTubers that are still left that are posting raw high content and information and news all the time. So the first one of these that you should guys should definitely look at for information is B Plays. B is actually associated with the Royal High team and she's actually the one who posted the new school trailer um so that's gonna be a pretty cool place to get all of your latest information and news so it's gonna be there and b basically is gonna be it's gonna let you know right when the update comes out that something has happened so if you want to keep up with the news i guess you can subscribe she does post a lot though so prepare to be flooded with notifications but yeah that is just one youtuber that you can look to for tea another one is Kama Haley because somehow she's still posting every single day so wow congrats Haley on posting every single day that's insane and um she's a really like consistent source of news from Royal High as well and you might want to like check out her channel i know a lot of you guys probably already know who Haley is but just saying she does still post information about the new school and stuff like that and another one that i found is Lanji games um she actually still posts posts a lot 
about the new school and stuff. So I think Lanji Games is also someone you can look to. And as for me, I'm not really going to be planning on posting that much tea videos anymore. But I will be live streaming when the new school like eventually does release or is close to releasing. So if you want to see those live streams, make sure to subscribe because you're going to want to be able to be there at those live streams. It's going to be a blast, guys. I promise. I'll try to make it as fun as possible on those live streams. I promise I won't just be standing there and doing nothing. I, 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 I swear. Um, so yeah, that is that congratulations you have reached the end of today's video if you want to check out another video i've made i recommend checking out this one which is my enchantix music video because as we all probably know enchantix is going to get removed when the new school comes out along with fantasia so this video is kind of just like a little love letter to enchantix so if you want to check that out go ahead and click on the video on the screen right now bye